When you want to get the audio sound out of a television to plug into a uh, Roger Radio Aid transmitter or perhaps a TV listener, there are lots of different ways you can do it. One of the ways is to use the digital output. If we come down and just look a bit closer on here, here's a selection of options. Unfortunately, although you can see three phono connectors, uh, these are uh, an, uh, an input, not an output. So you can't take the sound out of that. We've got the aerial socket, we've got HDMI. But what down, hiding down here is an optical out. It's officially known as a Toslink, is the name, as in Toshiba. If we just come over here and look at the connector, if you can see that. Now, there is one little trick. When you get these leads, because it's optical and with light, they usually have a little cover over the top. And if you don't take the cover off, strangely, it won't be able to plug it in. So to connect into that, we just simply plug into there, click it in, and we're now getting out the, uh, the audio signal that can plug into your TV listener. If your TV listener itself does not have a, 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 a digital input, what you can get now is that you can get digital to analog converters. So in the back of here, again, remember to take off the little cover. In the back of here, you can plug into that. Now this unit needs to be powered, but you can run usually, assuming there's a, a USB socket on here, you can plug that into the USB socket. So we're now powering this product off the TV itself. Mm -hmm and it comes out in phono and the phono leads will uh, can be then plugged into the TV listener. So, digital out to uh, using a Toslink cable. If you don't have a digital input, that's fine. What you can do, however, is plug into a converter that would turn it into a conventional analog and either use phono to phono or three and a half mil. There is one last little trick, and that last little trick is if your TV has got uh, a digital output it can sometimes have Dolby on it so if we go into the settings we need to check one thing and that is if we go into the settings go into sound down the bottom here it says here digital output is passed through one of the problems is that if you have a Dolby signal going through you if you don't have a Dolby decoder you would end up with a hissy signal so it's remember to go down check your TV and make sure that it is set to PCM. PCM stands for Pulse Code Modulation. That doesn't really matter either. But basically, if you don't have PCM set, you can end up with a very hissy signal because the, the, the unit cannot decode the Dolby signal. There you are. So that's connecting your TV using a Toslink or Toshiba cable as a digital output into your TV listener or radio aid.